Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, welcoming you to the PML Season 4. Your New York Metagross. Don't have the challenge on the screen. Uh, your New York Metagross are coming off uh, the season, the third season, as the runner up to Coach Callis Ray, if you did not see that episode. Spoilers. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, PML Season 4 has started, and your New York Metagross are going to start this season off with a win. I'm telling you now, we are facing off against the Rhode Island Reshi Rams, which I should probably challenge while I wait. Alright. And if you did not see, do not know what we're bringing, there is... Team... There is a link to the Team Builder in the description. We put that up yesterday. And normally I do league matches on Sunday and Monday, but these are going to be going up on, um, this is probably going up on Friday. So there's going to be like a little bit of a delay. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to do this on Friday, but you never know. Maybe Friday or Saturday. That could work. Anyway, so to give you a quick rundown of what we are bringing, we are bringing... If I can remember off the top of my head. We are bringing a Life Orb 4 Tax Hitmonlee. We are bringing a Hazard Stacking Skarmory. We are bringing a Life Orb Protect 3 Tax Scolopy. We are bringing our Banded Mammoth Swine, our Nasty Plot Simi Seer, and then another thing. Wait, no. We are also bringing... What's our Latios? I remember, I, I built this team like a week ago, guys. So this, we are bringing uh, three attacks roost. Alright, so this is what we got. There's that Heracross. Damn, that Heracross. Um, another Charizard X, which is really scary. But I have ways to handle it. Um, so we bring Charizard X, Suicune, Miss Magis, Heracross, Hitmon Top, and Thunderous Incarnate. No Lander is Therian, which... Ah, him on Lee's gonna put in the work. No Gardevoir, which is nice. No Dragology, which is good because the switchings to that are non existent. And no Sceptile or Agron, but I didn't really expect them to come anyway. So, his hazard removal is Hitmontop, which would suck if he got off his hazards, but I'm still just leading with my Skarmoring. He's very rarely gonna have a chance to. Spin. And even if it does, it doesn't matter. What do you say? Yeah. Nephews. My nephews were over. I just got done Pokemon hunting. As soon as I pulled in the driveway. Literally the second I pulled in the driveway. Out comes, um, they're from, literally when I pulled into the driveway from Pokemon Hunting, I look at my phone and, uh, he's like, let's go. I was like, okay. So, Suicune leads. I am perfectly okay if this thing starts setting up Calm Minds, because I have Sturdy, and I have Whirlwind, and I can just get rid of it. But I want my rocks, and I really want a Spike. I didn't record this, but this was, um, I actually faced him in the semifinals as well. He does about 40, he does 45%, which tells me that he's definitely defensive. And I can start hazard stacking. Get up a whole bunch of spikes. He's going to scald again, and he's going to get the burn, and I'm going to go down. All right, so Scar Suicune. Suicune kills Skarmory with burn damage. So, something that immediately threatens this thing. I don't have a lot that immediately threatens this thing. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, Latios kind of does its job against it. Suicune. Versus Latios, I can... Okay. Okay, Bob. 
We're gonna go Latias. He does not really have a good switch into Latias. I mean, this is his switching. Uh, but once I get a bit of damage off on this thing, I can just drop a Draco and kill it off. I should have brought Calm Mind, Latias. Just for Sweetkin. Calm Mind, Psyshock. <sighs> for someone who has such an offensively based team, he really does have a lot of good switches and stuff. Suicune, uh Miss Magis is pretty bulky. Charizard X can be pretty bulky. Hit him on top. Oh. How do I win this battle? If I can force this thing out, then I'll be okay. I'm really upset that I didn't get to, um, Activate my Custab. If I gotta, up, if he didn't burn me and I gotta activate my Custab Berry, or, well, if I got enough an, off another move, I probably would have Braid Birded and been able to put this in range of Psy Shock plus Draco. But now it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, it would have done like 25. So he would be at like 80 right now. He, I go for the Psy Shock and it does a considerable, considerable amount of damage. And it's not even more of a specially defensive. Or, yeah, more of a specially defensive. No, it's not. It's physically defensive. I'm, li I'm lying. I'm going to roost here. The Erection Rams are known for taking their time. But it's okay. That, uh, that helps them decide. I know King Nappy does that. Um, get to crit. All right, so we're gonna be playing this game. Go for calm mine, which is fine. I just need to get this thing low. And one more side shock. I will sack Latios. I mean, I mean, it does a lot of work to his team, but I will sack it. Just because now... I can go out into my... Does him only kill it from this range? Oh my god, please tell me knockoff kills it from this range. Knockoff does not kill it from this range. Joy. Suicune kills... Gladios with Ice Beam. Definitely should have gone Calm Mind, but that happens. Um, what about Skullpede? Does Skullpede kill from this range? Oh, okay, I'm not ready to make one. Mamoswine kills it, I know. Wait, just Bandit knockoff kill it? Something's gotta kill this thing. I know it does. Bandit knockoff does not kill it. Simi Seer, you kill it. He might. He has a chance to kill this. I think I have to go hit Caitlyn. I don't want to risk that. Um, unfortunately, I do have to go for HJK. He doesn't really have a lot he can roost on, though. He's not speedy enough for Mammoth Mine, so I think his best play is just sacking this. Damn. I think I almost put close combat on here too. Close combat would have been nice here because I'm pretty sure close combat kills from this range. And. Right? Close combat? Simmons here is probably my best bet just because it has a good chance. Um, but if he has any spadef, which he could have spadef, it's close combat kill. Oh, yeah, close combo would kill if it's doing 50. It's going to do, like, 40. 
But if he goes... Miss Magius. That helps me out. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Well, that's Cobra Berry. Knock off... If he's not Culberberry, knock off blows him away immediately after. Okay. Oh god, thank god he sacked that thing. Hitmonlee kills Suicune with high jump kick. Unfortunately, that invites in Hitmon top. That too, okay, or that too. He can go for rapid spin, but that'll give me. Yeah, he's gonna go for rapid spin, but that just gives me free damage. Can he do anything to Simis here? He's gonna high jump kick. If he's offensive, this is about, about to do a lot of damage. If he's offensive, this might kill. But he's not. He's definitely defensive. There's no way he would be able to get by with an offensive spread. Hmm. How do I win this battle? Mamoswine is going to put in a lot of work. Actually, when I next time I come out, get, if I get Mamoswine out, I just click Ice Bolt Crash. There's a reason I didn't want him on the out. I knew it was going to bait in his hazard removal. Do I have a ghost type? Shouldn't I have brought in my ghost type? I probably should have wrong. Um, who did I have? The ghost. Do I have a ghost type? No, I don't. That's the other league. This is why I like having Mega Sableye. It tells him, fuck you, hazards, and. That crit really sucks for him. If he was. Yeah, if he was, like, even just max HP, it probably mattered. I'm gonna see the L chat. That really fucking blows for him. Because now my hazards are there to stay forever. Dude, I'm so sorry. Dude. I don't know what it means to get crit like that. It's not how I wanted to win, guys. I wanted to win cleanly. Uh, I knew. Alright, it's fine. Um, I'm trying to think of what else he could have on this team. If I get Mammoth Swine in and I click Icicle Crash, I get a kill. No, he goes out to Heracross, or he sacks something, and then he goes out to Heracross. If he goes out to Heracross, I click Ice Crash again. Huh. There's another battle going on right now. In the CBL, he goes Heracross. And, oh my god, this thing is a threat. I just have to go straight for it. I have to put him in range of Bandit Ice Shard. If he's Choice Scarfed, I will be so happy. Yeah, and CBL right now, Andy and Joseph are about to square off. That'll be interesting. He go. He is bandit, or he is a scarf. Uh, 
Oh, actually, that's kind of bad if you scarf Moxie. Earthquake. Because I am EV to be faster than him. Earthquake does like 50. And Ice Core Crash Kills. So we're going to go out into... I did put plus one, right? Yeah. Depending on rolls. And depending on if he's adamant. And depending on if I miss right here. If I miss, I go out to... Simi Seer. And I think I have to try to know. Uh, if I miss, I lose. Okay, good. Yeah, if I I was thinking, yeah, if I miss, I lose right there. Kills the biggest freaking threat with icicle crash. I think was a huge threat, guys. Kills. Hitmonlee with Earth. Go there to Miss Magis. Can't switch in. Go for Ice Girl Crash. I might be able to live one hit. It says switch in my battle, so probably not. I probably didn't live the hit. Shadow Ball. Uh, actually, yeah, no. Kills. Wait, no. Wait, don't we lose? Prankster T wave, guys. That's overpowered. Charizard comes in at 50% though. Okay, go Scolipede. Right, and I weaken this thing. I think no matter what I'll lose, it's because Prankster T-Wave plus Z Zard X. Goes with Shadow Ball. Oh my god. Did a lot of damage. Holy shit, that did a lot. What? Oh my god, he is choice specs. That might be game. Yeah, we might start it off with a loss. Scolipede kills Miss Magis with poison jab. Scolipede dies to Life Orb. His team, guys, is so hard to wall. Go for Fire Blast here. He goes for T-Bolt, and he just kills me. Well, that's the game. I didn't bring a lot of speed, and it's my fault. God, that team is so hard to face. He has such a freaking good matchup against me. 
I mean, I don't know what else I could have done. Like, I should have saved Mammoth Swine. I think. Four twenty minutes. I definitely think I should have saved Mammoth Swine. Saved Bandit. I sure. You know what? Yeah, I think he posted it. He hasn't posted it yet. Right. Um, I think what I should have done Yeah, I should have gone out to Skull P, click protect, poison jab, weaken this as he kills me with a plus one. Or kills me with earthquake. Did he even kill me? He didn't. After the two life orbs. Well, I could have killed him. And then Bandit Eye Shar just comes through, right? No. I should have risked the roll with Simi Seer at him. No. It depends on. It would have depended on the roll with Skullpede. If I could have saved it for one last attack. That's what I should have done. Should have drafted a counter to the Heracross. It doesn't matter. Um, so, good game to the Rushy Rams. Uh, we are coming up. We are going to start with a 2 hour loss, which kind of explodes because I really like this team. But he has the matchup. Just straight up. Like, I could not counter everything that he had. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, so that's going to be that, and uh, next week, as fitting as it is, I face him in the semifinals, and then Callus in the finals of the PML Season 3, I face him Week 1 and Callus Week 2. So next week, we are facing off against Callus Ray and the Richmond Umbreons, and we're coming for revenge. So, I'll see you guys then.